sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. Hey, sorry. Nervous flyer. How are you doing? Okay. I don't have anyone next to me. That's good, that's good, that's good. Why is, why is no one else wearing a mask? Um, isn't it like, oh yeah, seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. Isn't there like a pandemic on or something? They're not, oh God, I can't, I, oh, I'm nervous. Okay, not much leg room. Uh, whew. Okay, we're not even, we're, we're not even, not even taking off yet. This is cool, we're still on the ground, still on the ground. What's that? Tomato juice? Okay. Whew. Uh, oh, well, um, what can I, oh, oh, I don't know about the safety instructions. They're not, oh God, um, oh, that's, oh, brick, okay. No, I, that's, looking at that's not a good idea, is it, really? Um, what's, oh, I might need that later. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's a big magazine. Yeah, planning to keep me entertained, I guess. Uh, okay, are we nearly there yet? I'm still, still in the, still in the sky. I'm still on the ground. I'm still on the ground. Hello, passengers. Hey. At this time, the forward entry door is closed. Okay. All large get electronic get out, get out, devices out. should now be shut off and stowed. And all small portable electronic oh, devices must switch. be set to airplane mode. Make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright and locked position, yep. and that your seat belt is correctly fastened. Oh god, we're moving. Okay, this is it. This, no, Please going back now. And a flight attendant will guide you through the process. Fine, 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 fine. Please stow your carry-on luggage underneath the seat in front of you, or in the overhead bin. Traveling light. I'm only going away for a day. Into a space that is too small for it. Then please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Okay, seatbelt's fastened. Okay. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, carefully Am read I? the safety information card located in your seat back pocket. If you do not wish, are unable, or unwilling to perform the functions described in the event of an emergency, a flight attendant will reseat you. I don't think I'm in there. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is prohibited on the entire aircraft, including the laboratories. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the laboratory smoke detectors is prohibited by law. Please note that e-cigarettes are not a loophole to this need some regulation. Need some air. Give me some air. Should you have any other questions about Can today's flight, please me feel free oh, to ask blind. a flight attendant. Thank you. A little bit of air. Not to bit too much air. Okay. Oh. So we're not moving again. God damn it. Those flights take so long. Welcome aboard. It's weird, isn't it, that you can't smoke, eh? Hey? I mean, it's not weird now, but people used to. It's weird, right? Wait. We recognize some of you may be frequent travelers, but this not information me. is important, and we ask for your undivided attention okay. at this time. Yep, yep, okay, I'm paying attention. Why have they gone quiet? Is there a problem? Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna sit back and. Hello and welcome aboard. We'd like to thank you for flying Pan Atlantica. Uh, hi, Pan Atlantica. Many other choices, from regional carriers to national and international airlines. Yep. But you chose us. Yeah, you were the cheapest. Thank you so much. Now, why aren't you blinking? Please pay attention. Oh, she blinked. Okay, I thought she was a robot for a second. I've fastened my seat. I've fastened my seat. If you haven't done so already, please fasten your seatbelt. It's done. I've done. In order to accomplish this, simply follow these simple steps. I hate First, this. grasp the flat metal end of the seatbelt in your right hand. Yep. You can easily identify this part of the seatbelt mm. by the square hole on one end. Done it. Next, with your left hand, pick up the buckle and then slowly and steadily move the metal end Jeez. towards the buckle. Jeez, who's this for? I guess some people have never flown before, but... Jeez. Let's get it over with. Are we even moving yet? Oh my god, we're not even in the air yet. 
once in a while. Okay, right back. To release your seatbelt in the event you need to leave your seat, find the top of the buckle. Okay. Once you've found the top of the buckle, lift Take off the worst bit. Take off the worst bit. That's when the things go wrong. I mean, it can go wrong at any point, to be fair, but... Actually, maybe it's, the, well, maybe it's better if it goes wrong at takeoff because there's not as far to fall. <laughs> Whale watching. Why, why did they give me a window seat? I asked for an aisle seat. What if I need the toilet? I'm going to have to ask this guy to move. What if he's asleep? And then I've got the social anxiety of being stuck in the seat and I need the toilet and I can't. Oh. Don't say that. Why have you... US law strictly prohibits smoking Don't on the airplane that. at any time. Okay. Tampering with, Blink. disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the laboratory may There's no one else wearing a mask. It's now time to take out and review the safety card. Okay, okay. In the seat back That's that. Uh, okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Fine craftsmanship, colorful, yep. clear illustration. Very colorful. Super laminated, yeah. Use the safety card to find the plane's exits marked by the large arrows and the word exit. There are exits in the front and rear of the plane. Okay, I can't. Of an evacuation from the cabin, follow the emergency that way. lights to an exit. Okay, that sounds, that sounds about right. All carry on items behind. If you feel you Wait, must what? Have something to bring what about my uh, my laptop? We suggest you how, how, how will I make Atlantic episodes of Ian's VR Corner? Oh. Magazine, magazine, magazine. Hotels, sponsored reviews for okay. high-end restaurants, as well as maps of every major airport okay. and fun games to play, like oh. Sudoku. Sudoku? Okay. Oxygen. Oh no. Oh god. Should the airplane cabin lose pressure? No, it's not going to lose pressure. Oxygen mass will drop. Why have we not gone yet? When they do, again, oh, do fuck. not panic. The yellow cup fits over Do not panic. It's easy for you to say, you unblinking of machine of a woman. Carry on. I'll, I'll look at that later. Oh, thank God. Uh, at least we've got no one sat next to us, eh, mate? We've got like the snack seat. Snack seat. Please note that your seat cushion can also be used as a flotation device. No. No, 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 no. How clever. Wait, what? Your cabin crew will now be coming around to do a final cabin check. Okay. Everyone here at Pan Atlantica is proud to be part of making more flight today. Is it so hot in here? Is it hot in here for anyone else? Make your flight more enjoyable. Please don't hesitate to ask using the call button. We hope you have an enjoyable, entertaining. I don't understand why no one else is wearing a mask. We here at Pan Atlantica salute you. It's like giant germ tubes. Is he? I thought he was going to cough for a second then. Giant tubes of germs. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. On behalf uh -oh. of myself and the flight crew, it's our distinct pleasure to welcome you on board Pan Atlantica Flight 708 with non-stop service to Halifax. <sighs> our flight time today should be around two hours, <laughs> maybe a little over. Uh, we'll be cruising at around 35,000 feet oh, off the I ground. I should have bought my switch. And so at this point, uh, I just play playing a switch. I play my switch and I could just tune it all out. I'll be back in touch if we've got any other updates for you en route. Okay. For now, sit back. Relax and enjoy the flight. Okay. You don't want to swap seats, do you? No? Okay. Why are we not even in the air yet? Is this like a two hour flight? Oh, fuck. What is this? Oh. Distance traveled, naught. Alright, we're third in line for departure right now. Should have you off the ground any minute now. Third in line. Where are we going? I don't even know where we're flying to. I'm there somewhere, probably. Okay, can I take this out? What does this do? Menu. Uh, channel 8. 
Oh, cartoons. I can't hear it. I bet I need to get my headphones out of my bag, don't I? I find no, I'll save that for later. Save that for later. Menu. What else have we got? Food. No upcoming scheduled service. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's a good job I brought some snacks. We've got some in flight movies. 79 minutes, 59 minutes. Atlantic flight, okay. And the rabbit who came to supper, okay. What games have we got? Any games? Casino Blackjack Solitaire. Trivia game coming soon. Ah, oh, this is what I get for flying budget economy. I can't believe we've not even I can't believe we've not even taken off yet. I wish I could close this so I didn't have to look out and see the see the, the, the height we are. It's the worst bit about flying is when you're in the air and you imagine how far down it is. Just it's like a little bit of metal and then there's just an a, a infinite drop. Oh god, here we go. We're still in the queue. Yeah, we're still in the queue. There's no one. No one else is wearing masks. If no one else is wearing masks, I'm going to take mine off. I had a test recently. I know I don't got it. And this is a, this mask's only for your protection. I'm being a conscientious, you know, citizen. snacks with my mask on. Right, well if, uh, if no one's put any masks on or anything soon, I'm taking mine off. How come we've not even taken off yet? Ah! This is doing my head in. Let's have a read of the magazine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Stratosphere. Okay. Themes are to us. Yeah, right. I wish. Message from our CEO. I travel our first network and see the incredible and diverse family of more than 50,000 employees and the millions of customers we serve around the world. I'm constantly reminded that at our car we are means of connecting people. Atlanta to Auckland, Ontario to Osaka. I wish I was going to Osaka. But in every connection we make is a community we strive to support and serve. I'm always hard to see this shared purpose make a lasting positive impact everywhere we operate. It's hard as a core value amongst the entire family. It haunts me because only with this commitment to serving the community can we fulfill our obligations to every passenger. Everyone who buys a ticket has a different reason, a different story, a different need. I, oh no. Taking my mask, I'm taking my mask off. If no one else is, no one else is wearing one. That's fine, so be it. I was gonna be good, but. <sighs> Cabin crew, prepare for takeoff. Oh no, I forgot my boiled sweets for my ears popping. Ah oh, damn it! It's okay, I brought a drink with me. Oh god, oh god, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. I don't like this noise. Uh, oh, I don't like that feeling. 
Oh no, oh no, we're in the sky, we're in the sky. Anything that goes wrong now is screwed. There's Thing. One thing goes wrong now, and that's it. Unless we land on the Hudson River, and we've got that guy flying. Well, I don't think we're anywhere near the Hudson. <sighs> okay, at least we seem to be up and and stable. Okay, let's get back to my magazine. What's his name? Tamam Yamut, the CEO of Pan Atlantica. Infinite Horizon by Rene. I wonder what that smells like. What do you reckon space smells like? Oh, well, I'm fine. Okay, not not chatty. It's fine. I don't really like speaking to strangers either. Oh, oops. I'll just flick back to that again. Just a bit window shopping. What have we got here? Got games. Chrono Logic. Always prepared. Oh, I like what they do. Chron Chronologic. I like that. I'm a big fan of puns. Okay, I can sit back. Okay, the G Force is gone. We are. Oh, look how high we are up now. There. A trip to Mars. Okay, which I. That sounds quite interesting. Let's just go page by page. Hey, look at that. It's, uh, I've been playing a game with uh, with with this in. It's the uh, it's Tower Bridge. Players, Watchdogs Legion. You can you can you can jump off it. Oh, he's, oh, I think he's going to sleep. No, don't go to sleep like that. See, that's what. See, if he goes to sleep like that and just that's that's it. I can't. As soon as he traps me in, I'm going to need a wee so bad. It's it's psychological. I swear. Like it. I don't need. I've not drunk. I purposely didn't drink anything for five hours before I got on this flight. But as soon as he goes to sleep and blocks that instant wee wee, I, I can't. Okay, where is your stratosphere? Yes, you're allowed to take the in-flight magazines. Many passengers, as you know. Oh, I can take the magazine. Oh, I might take it. Us, Austin Hunter, 36 from Cornwall, waited 13 minutes for a plane to pass overhead before snapping this pick. Too bad it ended out of the frame. Lol. What are you doing? Okay. A way of life? Or maybe time for a home life? It's boring. Why are in flight magazines so boring? Oh, a crossword. Okay. Oh, let's do a crossword. I'm very, very bad at crosswords. Um, is there any easy ones? Oh, the 27 I can do. Where's 27? Is it a down? 27 down. 27 down. Okay, this is... Oh, uh, how do I... Ah, uh, my ears are popping. Ah, uh, I need to... I need... Uh, what? Ah, uh, my ears... Why are my ears pop... Why are my ears ringing? Oh, I've got nothing in there that I can have to... Stop my ears ringing. What's that? What's it? Okay, have I got a pen? Oh, I do got the pen. Sign my name. There you go, bit of artwork. What's that? What is that? Is this for fear of flying? I'm having it, just in case. What else have we got in here? Sketchbook. I've got my headphones. Oh, there we go, I put my headphones on. That's kind of... My ears are still ringing a bit. Oh, oh, is that my? Oh, hello. Got my phone. Oh God. Oh no. If I, <sighs> I hope I've put my phone on flight mode. Oh, I don't know. I didn't put my phone on flight mode. That could have caused a ca catastrophic uh, event. Uh, I've got a podcast to listen to here in the dark. Okay, let's listen to a podcast. Why? 
Why can't I hear my podcast? Do I have to Bluetooth it to my speakers? The Duck. Oh, I'm your host, MC Ballard. It's June 23rd, and as always, I'm here to bring you the most exciting, strangest, <laughs> newest, most mind-bending, grooviest electronic and experimental music. Okay. This so week we have a special episode for you, a uh, focus on generative, algorithmic, and aleatoric music. In our era of feeds and machine learning and big data and recognition, Still no. it might seem like technology and music have become inseparable, yeah. but using rules to create music is hardly new. Oh my Back in the 18th ringing. century, composers used it? dice to randomly generate music, and you can make an argument that even musical canons immortalized by old Johann Sebastian Bach book. should be viewed as a form of algorithmic music. You won't be listening to anything quite that ancient today, and of course, modern composers have infinitely more sophisticated tools at their disposal. We'll start with several pieces okay, by Chicago-based composer Elisa Webb, who, by the way, has a great new video series on the use of chance in her work on her YouTube. This is from her latest release on Cobb's oh, Tapes, which I believe was performed on a Eurorack and processed hard by to her own write, custom but I'm nervous. SP patches. That's Cod, not Koo. 27 down, Cape and a fish. Ancient city that was once coastal, but is now in. Oh my! Finally, my ears have popped. Oh, thank God for that. That's loud. It's that exp- I, no, it's not my kind of music. That's no. Uh, no. Come on. What else have we got? Imaginary worlds. The ASMR life. Okay, ASMR stuff. Never works for me, but I find it quite relaxing to sleep too. I don't get the don't get the brain tingly stuff. Picnics. American city that God forgot. Louise The world's most popular. I don't know any of these. Modern day Sheba. Cuban musical instruments that's very French. This company claimed to have made the oldest path. Why is this so hard? Prankster from Brazilian folklore. Hey, who would know that? Who would? Do you, excuse me. Twenty-five across. A prankster from Brazilian folklore. You got it. No, he's not gonna. Okay, fine. Ground floor of the U.S. Capitol building. Who would know that? A genuine. In German, and a village. In I don't, I don't even, I have no idea, I can't do that, that's too, too hard. Let's try Sudoku. Um, how Sudoku do, is it like, do you have to make like, is it, each, I don't even, I've forgotten how you play Sudoku, that's not cool. Okay, fine, no Sudoku. What's this say? 72 hours in Beirut. Is someone eating crisps? Oh wait, of course, it's the picnic ASMR. So, <laughs> freaking out here, I'm freaking out. Okay, Monday morning. So, it's starting the day very, very early. What? What was this? This is... 72 hours in Beirut. Not, not... I've never been to Beirut. Looks quite nice. Evening. Oh, that's pretty fancy. That's good, good photographs. Van Bugel, 1924. Oh, those are pretty steps. Oh, oh I forgot I was on a plane for a second. I'm, on, I'm definitely on a plane. What was that? This podcast is weird. Looks like she's having a... 
poo, with little rabbit bumbles. I switched my company. Okay, day three. Oh, I'm hungry. Wonder if I can have a. Wonder if I can have a snack. The airport was rubbish. Didn't have much to eat. Just these weird wafers. How are we doing so far? How, how's the oh. How's the flight going? New York. Ten percent. Hmm. Okay. At least we're on the way. Um Podcast not very interesting. I tell you, let's put let's put cartoons on. Let's put, oh, I love cartoons. On. Big fan of cartoons. What was it? it was Channel Eight, wasn't it? Um. Wait, how do I? There we go. Oh, whoops! Damn it! Looking for the volume. Parts on the chair. Where was it? Oh, cartoons. Oh, that's not fun. Cartoons, isn't it? <laughs> Go get him. What are those dogs doing? <laughs> He's pretending to be a dog. Oh, crazy bugs. What's he going to do next? Just got to avoid rabbit season, I guess. Ah, it's rabbit season. I'm hunting rabbits. Sinking us off. Oh, God. This is what I get for flying economy. Which makes no sense. <laughs> the audio's well far behind. Can I call the... Uh, up, can I call the crew? Yeah, See if I'm getting yeah, fixed. You, What's that do? Oh, I'm demand, so. Damn it. That's a little bit better now. <laughs> rabbits, rabbits don't have showers. Come on out, or I'll pull your head off. <laughs> Put the plug in the gun. Lol. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's good dental hygiene. Need it for munch and carrots, I guess. <sighs> I forgot I was on a plane for a second and then I remembered again. What is that? Why is there a... That's not a crack, is it? Is that a crack? I don't know. Don't be a crack. Don't be a crack. <sighs> I can't hear again. How do I get the... How do I get the... Sound now. Oh, 
Damn it, I was enjoying that cartoon. Now all I can think about is the crack in the window. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, I know what I can do, I know what I can do. Let's... Um, uh, let's put more cards on the podcast. Uh, let's, put, let's put imaginary worlds on. Play. Back. Playing. It's playing. Why have I not got any... Oh, my headphones can... Uh, okay. Alright, I'll do some. I'll, I'll watch the cartoons. Go. I'll watch the cartoons. It's fine. Oh, it's cold out there. Let him in. You die. No, I'm too young to die. Please. Hey, this scene ought to get me the Academy Award. <laughs> it were. I was, I was sucked in. I was believing it. Goodbye, Uncle Louie, for me. So it might be an Xbox One X. No one else is getting one. Which leaves you owing us one dollar and ninety-eight cents. Please, we miss. You don't get the dough, eh, for the ball. No, but I'm gonna get you. Uh oh. You think yipe? Scarpa, hide, hide bugs. Oh, classic, classic. So what, they don't make them like this anymore, do they? Happy New Year! Hey, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Shut up and wait until I got to leave if I don't know what to do. Shut up and wait until I got to leave if I don't know what to do. Well, yipe again! Yikes! Nugget! Door. Thought it was going to go a little bit phasmophobia. Man. <sighs> Don't look out the window. That's why I hate, I hate window seats because I keep looking out and then I keep remembering. At least on the aisle seat, I'm less sky, fewer sky. Good widdance. Easter greetings. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. What's up, Doc? Hey, lol. What's up, Doc? <laughs> oh, Bugs Bunny. That's all, folks. Nice. Well. Good, good cartoonist. I think it's the only one they've got, though. Pretty sure. This is another one. Yep. Seems to be the same one. Yeah, that's the. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's the same one. There's not much good. Not much choice. He doesn't, he doesn't want to speak, he doesn't want to speak to me, 
fine. Um, all right. Okay. Look. How long we got? Go. This is the trouble. See, I start clock watching, and then it goes takes longer. Twenty four percent. Okay, nearly quarter of the way through. Nearly quarter of the way through. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Time remaining. Time remaining. Is there a time remaining? There's distance remaining. Time at destination. Good buddy. Ooh. This is your captain speaking. Oh, please, not We're bad. Not now, bad. So not bad. Welcome to the flight. Hi. Hopefully the weather cooperates and we can give you a nice we'll smooth ride. I'll let you know if there's any other updates. Okay. God, is that it? Don't do that. You make me panic. Why would you do over like the emergency intercoms? Like, why would you do that? Ooh, bit, oh, fuck. The captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign, indicating okay. we've reached our cruising altitude. You are now free to move about the cabin, but we ask that while in your seat, you keep your seatbelt fastened. At this time, the use of all approved portable electronic devices is permitted. What? Wait, was I not supposed... Oh, crap, was I not supposed to be using my phone then? It's a good job the uh, stewardess didn't spot that. Okay. Is that this? Wait. Uh, oh, hey, do you ever, do you find connecting things to Bluetooth a pain in the ass? I know I do. Right, let's turn that off. Okay. Wait. Wait. Back. Back. Headphones connected. Wait, is that the volume? Why can so the headphones are connected? But I can't hear. Have I broken? Have, have uh, how have I broken my phone? Okay, let's come on. Let's what? Oh, I need to slide it. Don't I? Okay, connect. Okay, merch. You could redesign the imaginary world. Logo. Here we go. Or create art inspired by your favorite episode. Okay, sweet. Send your submissions to contact at imaginaryworldpodcast.org. We will okay. pick our favorites and announce the winners. Pioneers, on media. Pioneer Club. I've got no Pioneer point. Okay, two hours, five minutes, not stop. Okay. Honey You're folks. listening to Imaginary Worlds. I am. About how we create them and why we suspend our disbelief. Yep. I'm Eric yep. Alinsky. Hi, Eric. There's a scene that I keep thinking about from the end of Interstellar. And if you haven't seen Interstellar, then spoilers ahead, because I'm going to talk about the ending. Hmm. Now, the premise of the movie is that in the future, we can't grow food on the Earth anymore, okay. but no one's sure why. So a group of astronauts, led by Matthew McConaughey, blast off, looking for other planets that humans could live on. Eventually, they find some planets. They're okay, not great, and a lot of other dramatic stuff happens. But in the end, Matthew McConaughey returns to our solar system, and he discovers that humanity had actually survived all this time by living on a giant space station. And the physics of this space station were mind-boggling. I mean, it looked like somebody had taken a flat plane of Earth and rolled it up into a tube so the houses are hanging sideways and upside down. In fact, we see these kids playing baseball, Whoops. and a pop fly shoots straight up into the skylight of a house Get hanging a upside down. Giving you a bit of a big chin there, mate. Where am I? Cooper Station. Currently orbiting Saturn. And I've always found it fascinating how much some people really want to live on the moon, or mm. Mars, or in a space station. So it's kind of like... Where just about every natural resource that we take for granted on the Earth has to be recreated from scratch, and it's incredibly fragile. But people are investing a lot of time and money and their imaginations into life in space. And they say we are closer than ever to making that a reality. So I was really wondering, well, what do they imagine? And how much does it reflect science fiction? Okay, so All right, so going back to that beard, giant curved kind of space cylinder wait. that we saw in Interstellar, that it's idea turning, originally yeah, came from a physics professor at Princeton named yeah. Gerard K. O'Neill. 50 yeah. years ago, he was working with his students on designing solar-powered satellites. And I know I said that just about every natural resource in Earth is really hard to find in space. That's definitely not true with solar power, because, you know, of course, on the Earth, 
Night shuts it off instantly. Where a cloud runs over and shuts it off instantly. Time, Robert uh, Smith works for the Space Robert Studies Institute, Smith. which was founded by the late Gerard K. O'Neill. Robert, Robert says back in the 60s, when O'Neill was figuring out the math for these solar-powered satellites, uh -huh. O'Neill realized that structures didn't have to be limited by space. I mean, they could be as big as cruise ships oh, or cities, which means people could live and work up there. Cool. But, and I, I said to Robert Smith, the thing that I don't understand <laughs> Did you hear they is found why water on the moon? cylinders have to curve into themselves like an M.C. Escher painting. And how does it even work? I mean, I barely understand how gravity works on the Earth. Like, I don't quite understand why, why people standing in Antarctica don't feel like they're standing upside down on the oh Earth. Oh, God. So I really don't understand What's how that happening? would work on a man-made structure that's smaller than the a planet. The pill I take. Okay. Um, the when you're a kid, you take a bucket, right, and you fill it with water. What's and happening? you're at the beach, right? You take a bucket, you fill it with water, and you spin <laughs> your arm around above your head, and the water Should I be getting out, worried? Right? Uh, I never did that, but I, um, I believe you. You never did What's that? No. What kind of a kid are you? I was collecting I? seashells. I don't. <laughs> sea glass. Well, what you the? get the idea, okay? You'll do it now. Take a coffee cup outside, put water in it, take your arm and just spin it in a circle. Even though it's upside down at a certain point, the water doesn't come out. It's it being pushed Am I dying? against the inside of the cup. Uh, if you're at the end This isn't the helping my fear of flying you much. Those things that you, you, you stand in, it starts to spin, and then they drop the they drop the floor away and you don't fall. That's centrifugal force. It's an effect of the spin. If you make the thing What's up? Where am I? The Have I Did I pass out? What the? What is this? What the? F huh? I think I blacked out for a second. Where am I? What the? That was weird. <laughs> Holy crap! Did I? Are we? What? Oh no. I don't think we're leaving. Did I just skip the whole flight? Well, I wasn't supposed to fall asleep and skip the whole flight there, sir. I don't know what I can do with that. That's what you get for taking random tablets without realising. Oh, whoops. Uh oh. Well, um, this flight just got shorter. Where's my drawing gone? My drawing's gone. I'm gonna have to speed paint. I didn't notice you had like a man bun thing going on there. Oh, damn it. This is gonna be. This is my last picture was much better. Oh, what the hell is. Okay, the jawline's a bit better. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't eat random pills. You never know when you may pass out. I can't, I, ne I can never, s never f sleep on planes normally. It's a weird one for me. Beard. Uh. Na, 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 
Yes, sorry, I am drawing a picture. I'm sorry, you've just got such a striking profile I can resist. I hope you don't mind. Don't call for the stewardess. I think it's a good likeness. Green collar. Pretty good, right? San Francisco Bay Area, my homeland at the time, that I constantly kept in mind as Quite I did these paintings. Now, for the record, Gerard O'Neill was not the only person thinking about space cylinders in the 70s. Space cylinders? Two science fiction authors oh, imagined these that. giant curved space structures. Arthur C. Clarke in his novel Rendezvous with Rama, and Larry Niven in his novel Ring World. But, as Robert points out, I love the Ring World story, but remember, it's not us. It's aliens out there. It's like Rendezvous with Rama. You know, it's not us. But O'Neill colonies can be built. Time to make a compliance check and pick up any remaining trash. Thank you. We'll be on the ground shortly. <sighs> okay, well, it's a, a lot quicker than I expected it to be, but um, can't say I'm not relieved. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's higher numbers, isn't it? Wait, what? Two. How do I... There we go. Um, oh, numbers eight. I can go there. King. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Oh, does it have to be a red one? Oh, I'm playing... This dirty rules. Okay, well, that's seven. Six, then we can go there. Oh, nuts. I think Ace can go. Can Ace go? Yeah, top or bottom. Okay, sweet. Uh, eight there. There's a ten. Can I pick them, pick them both up? Put them, no, because that ten's black. But I can do with this one. Come on, all of them on there. There we go. There's a seven. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Five. Oh, that's no. That's not going to work. I need some. More red, like suits. There we go, Jack. I'll do. There's a ten on there. Yeah. Ten. Oh, I should have put that ten. Balls. Okay, nine. King, ace, eight, eight. There we go, eight. Six, six. Five. This is a. Uh, okay, this is chilling me out a bit. This has given me something else to think about, apart from, aside from the scary landing prospects. That two can go there. Whereas six, no, ten. There we go, jack, queen, red queen can go there. We've got a black jack, we don't at the moment. Red three, queen, four, red four can go on that. Get a black three, a red two. What's another red four? Damn it. Okay, is that a black two? I think. Oh wait, no, it's a red three. Five. Red five can go on that. A black three can go on that. Okay, we still get two on there. Jack on there. I think we're gonna 
think I'm smashing this. I think I'm smashing it. Okay, good. Can go there. What do we put on the Why? Is it the aces that are meant to go on these bits? Yes, okay. And then can I put a king on top of that? Or does it have to go that order? Oh, it does, okay. Okay, so that ace can go there, and then that can go there. That means that one can go there. That one can go there. I want to move that four somewhere. Eight. Basically got a blank canvas now. We've got a king here, let's put the king of hearts there. Let me put the queen on that. I don't know, it's giving me a red jack. Well that ten, yeah. Look at that, perfect. Let's move, move, Sigton. This entire one here. Nine, ten. And then we've got a black jack. I was looking for a black jack. Oh, I, I don't need it now. I need a red ten. Uh, wait, that red jack there. Can I put that red jack on the red queen and then move the red queen to there? Eee, skills. Okay, eight. Space for a black five. Still don't know where the club is. Red queen. Two, three. Jack. Is am I stuck? Five. Six. 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 Queen. I think I might be stuck. Two, three, three. Wait, that? No, okay. That can go there. That doesn't help me very much. Six of hearts, where's that? Five. Six, six of diamonds. them back. See, five, four, three. I could, if I could move them back, then I could move this two off. This two is what's really screwing me over. I think I've, I think I've messed up. Damn it, messed up. Oh, let's start again. Those like me who have left, we're not anti-Luna City. Hmm. Uh, tell me this, Eric. Why did we even go to the moon? Well, I mean, it's not like there's, there's one answer. There's so many. I'm looking mm. for what you believe to be the top answer of why we settled the moon. Um, I mean, there are a lot. So, but the the moon is was it was always supposed to be a stationing area, Ace. right? I mean, it started out for science and industry, of course. Okay, but that I mean, eight it came can go there. Like nine. Launching pad. Like, isn't the idea that the moon is supposed to be sort I of a bucket? Lot of I mean, we can spend uh, ten days talking about this. Ace. But what's the Ooh, point? That's good. Okay. The point Ace. is, Get you straight using up there, the moon mate. as a launching pad reveals a great deal about the Another human spirit. Suit. That need, that intrinsic need we have to expand and go Six. further. I've recently been working with the science eight. team who's gearing up for okay, the next the Titan, and with a bit more equipment, and the ice there will be ready to process, there. and we'll have settled Two close to the there. edge of the solar system. Wow. Jack I mean, it's not about us segregating queen. ourselves. It's about pushing ourselves to realize there. our full potential on the moon and anywhere we go. 
My family was part of Generation Zero, who landed on the moon and helped program and repair the bots that built this city. When Linus yeah. Luna City was founded originally, it was under severe control from corporations. Corporations that took Four. huge risks to allow us the opportunity to live on the moon, of course. Okay, I grant them that. Ten. But it was essentially a rogue ten, state ten, under private ten. corporate control. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So some and of those constraints still remain today, and that's what we don't like. Gennaro, I mean, you, you, I'm sure you can empathize Black with her point there. about exploration, the quest for knowledge. I mean, what is concerning you about these communities of distinction? There. Or as you said earlier, like, how it's do these four. communities put yeah, you at risk? Hold on. Okay. Coming into. I thought there were, there was a warning sign or something there. screens on this plane are rubbish. Five, four, 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 four. Wait, three and a two there. That go on that. Six, five, that's all black suits again. Four onto the five. Two. Can't do anything with that two. Oh, I can put that two there actually. And then I can put that two on there. Queen, give, no. Ah, nuts. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. We're gonna come into land. I don't like this bit. I don't like this bit. Makes me jump. Makes me jump. Makes me jump. It's kind of like riding a roller coaster, isn't it? It kind of. Stupid doom tube. Oh, that was it. That was a weird landing. Why are we going sideways up the wrong? Yeah, we're going, we're going sideways up the wrong way, dude. Is this all? We're on the ground. It's not as scary now. Not scary. Not scary. Five. Four. Come on, four. Okay, three. Yeah, three. Uh, For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe for you to get up. Oh, so it's even worse. It's like, use now. I just want to get out. Just want to get out. Just want to get out. So I can't stand up. Like we're hit. It was so close to being off this in plane. Fine. Just got to be a, bit, a little bit patient. Just a little bit patient. Jack six. What? Oh my. Guess we've. Guess we're getting off then. Um, oh yeah, that was a lot quicker than I expect. I don't normally fall asleep on flights. It must have been. It must have been that tablet that's made that a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Probably, probably cut out like pretty much a whole hour of that flight, to be honest. But um, I'm not. I'm not doing another. I'm not doing another one. Not till I have to come home. And. Uh, I've got work in, in, in Halifax to do, so, um, yeah, all right, well, uh, just, uh, my seatbelt signs are still on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Halifax Stanfield International Airport. Okay, the plane's going backwards now. Is Local it, times around 12, happen? 15. Does it? Do we, planes normally go backwards like that, do they? I'm not really sure. 
robbed of completing that game of solitaire, mate. Oh, I just want to get my bank out. I just want to get my bank get out. It's just, no, let's put my, no. On behalf of myself in. and the rest of our hard work crew, we'd like to thank you for choosing Pan Atlantic on your trip today. Yep. We know you have a choice of carriers, and we appreciate you choosing Pan Atlantic today. Thanks. We'd love to see you on board again soon. In the meantime, have a wonderful stay. Cheers. I don't want to leave my stuff in my. I don't want to leave my. Can I put my phone know. back in the uh, bag? No. Okay, well. I'm sure I can pick it up in a minute, I'm sure. Can we get off yet? games. I know, it's taking them ages, isn't it? Oh, we're not stuck on the runway for a long time. It's happened before, I've been stuck on the runway for like 45 minutes to an hour. No, ex no explanation either. Just, uh, just stuck. Doing nothing. <sighs> well, yeah, thanks for having me, I guess. I guess the seatbelt sign, big boom, is off. Time for me to head to my hotel. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh no. Sorry. I'm just getting my, oh, just getting my bag up from the, the yeah, up the the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Oh no. I didn't mean to put my elbow in your face there. That's. Oh god. Oh I've, no. I'm very sorry. I've totally. Totally uh, knocked your drink over there. Bye.